I thought I would do a short video just to show you before and after of adding the BCB basket to the canister filter. And I have all the usual suspects to help eradicate the algae, just like everybody else when you set up a new tank and it's only a few months old, uh, that they can only do so much, the snails, flying foxes, your algae eaters. But this is after adding that BCB to the aquarium. And I thought I would show you before and after of what I had and the reason I wanted to add the BCB to the aquarium itself, even though I'm using a plenum. Now, this is not uncommon uh, in springtime uh, for a pond. You usually got cyanobacteria, but soon as the weather starts warming up, and soon as the pond starts getting about 68, 70 degrees, the filter kicks in, and the same thing happens to what you're looking at. All the algae starts dying, and then you're cleaning it constantly out of the filters, and you're cleaning it uh, out of the basket, the skimmer basket. I also want to show you something. There was a video that I watched where someone says doing setting up a new tank and using uh, tank water is no good. I want you to look at the hose after seven days of running this filter. This was a purely clean hose. See the little white dots? See the white dot? That's all bacteria growing that fast within seven days. See those big white dots and all the little dots in this hose? That's bacteria that fast growing. The person on the video claims that using tank water is no good. Well, this was a sterile environment. I made the basket. I set up the canister filter. Um, it had never been used, so there was no bacteria, anything in these hoses. This is within seven days. That's how fast, if you have an already established aquarium, how fast the bacteria will start establishing itself. Look at this hose. Look at those dots and everything. That's bacteria already establishing. So the guy on the video is 100% wrong. I'm not going to say who he is. That's not my job. My job is to make sure I educate people to the, to the extent that they understand that some of these people on these videos, they don't give the right information. They don't know what they're talking about. They never worked at a college. They never worked at a lab. Look at how fast the bacteria grew inside this clear plastic hose. And that was a brand new hose, never been used. Look at all the bacteria in it within seven days. That's why I tell you, when you clean out a filter, you don't have to clean it out in a bucket of aquarium water. As soon as you fire that puppy up within seven days, it's going to be reestablished. Look at this. Now, you know that bacteria is all over the canister already and all over the BCB. So don't be fooled by people who don't know what they're talking about. This is proof right here how fast bacteria will establish itself inside an aquarium just through the water because you know it's not picking up a bunch of mum or dirt or anything else within those seven days it's basically just pumping the tank water but you uh, have to understand bacteria is constantly in your tank and they have tests that you can literally buy and test your water to see how much free floating bacteria you have in your aquarium or your pond. This is nothing new. You have a lot of free floating bacteria in your aquarium. Unless you're going to use an ultraviolet light or ozone to kill it off and lessen that bacteria count. Otherwise, you have enough bacteria free floating in your aquarium. Every time you put your hand in there, you're getting bacteria all over your hand and that's why you should never put your hand in your mouth, rub your eyes after you put your hands in an aquarium. You have a lot of free floating. What it is, it's free floating and it's trying to find a spot to cling to. That's all the bacteria is trying to do. Once you give it a home, it will then cling to it and start building that polymeric adhesive. That's why the hose looks 
all milky white with little white dots. Within seven days, it's already doing the job it's supposed to be doing and cleaning your tank. I just thought I'd make this quick video to let you know, be very careful when you watch other people's videos. Some of these people, they don't know what they're talking about. They are not microbiologists. They never worked in a lab. They never worked on a college level in a lab. They never taught microbiology. And sometimes they just don't know what they're talking about. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak.